Don't thing. defend me. That's not your role it, here. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to tear you down here, right? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Out here, KRA number two. And yes, I have a full winter coat over my suit. It is freezing cold again, I think 35 degrees. So that's just Indiana for you, because, oh, clean up this screen for you. No, there we go. Um, two days ago, three days ago, it was 80 degrees. So just a big old swing. Anyways, out here racing, we got the usual dad and myself. And what is this? Ben, man, do you want to introduce yourself? I don't know that people will remember you from so long ago. Um, yeah, I was gonna race this week and then it turned out to be 30 degrees. So I'm really regretting that now. Yeah. But yeah, it's good to have Ben. It's good to have Ben back here. He's learning a lot from me. Makes me feel good about that. You know, I feel like I have a purpose. So that's, that's nice. And uh, he's just been very grateful for all the lessons I've been teaching him. So I'm gonna try to continue that today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna see how it goes today, guys. Should be a fun, fun day. A lot of, uh, lot of race footage with three races. Let's see how it goes. by both my brothers to get that shot. It was good. I'm here, I'm mechanic Ben today. Oh, does this have to go on the plug? Hey, so I'm trying to look around the campsite here, trying to find a white towel <laughs> or, That's you know, because somebody is going to be waving. Yeah, there we go, a white blanket. Ben, why don't you go ahead and wave that? Ben's waving yeah. the white flag. I, would, I just told Dad and Casey I'm going to push the race to another day. It's cold, it's slick. Every practice session had a lot of spinning guys out and I, I hate the way that I'm set up right now cart wise. I'd rather push it for a warm sunny day where I know what I'm getting at. Uh, and that way I don't, I, I told them if I race today and it goes how I expect it will, I'll probably not want to race for a very long time. And there's potential just for me to get very pissed off if something were to get broken or bent for a hobby that I'm just kind of like putting my toe into, you know? So I'm going to push it for a warmer day. To be fair. It's pretty terrible. It was out. It was terrible in the morning, though. Don't thing, defend me. That's not your role here. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to tear you down here, right? Like, because he's basing it on morning practice, which was by far the worst conditions, even worse than the previous weekend. And now it's all up. You know, it's all downhill from here. It's in a good way. There's nothing but more grip. So yeah, Ben's making a massive mistake. <laughs> <laughs> all right we are out here it's a chilly morning but at least it's not windy like it was yesterday and uh sitting out here i was thinking about last night usually after a day of practice which was quite crappy yesterday i uh i have a snack just before i go to bed and my favorite snack is hot buttered popcorn and out here i usually can't have that so i'll grab the popcorn out of a bag so with that in mind we are here at the hot buttery popcorn of go-kart racing newcastle motor sports park the morning walk with dad as i think about my snack i think it equates to the way i was driving yesterday i was terrible uh in fact it was undrivable and i really started questioning myself and i thought it's kind of like in the winter you go to the pantry, you're looking for some hot buttered popcorn, something, and all there are are saltine crackers. And you get to the point there where you're watching the ball game and you're grateful for those saltine crackers. They're not too bad after all. I know why they were invented. These are pretty good. But 
it's not hot, hot buttered popcorn and with with the go-kart we had made some changes and made them going into the race our first race and we kept that setup conditions were about the same i was terrible i mean it was undrivable it was just not predictable even when the tires warmed up i felt like at any point the back end was going to snap around it just one corner would be good next corner it wouldn't be and so we took all that out next to last practice yesterday and i got out and i thought you know what at least it's predictable and this morning i've gone out and again it's, it's kind of coming there and so the thing i notice now is i'm confident i'm still just terrible i'm just mediocre my driving mistakes still exist but i'm so glad to just have that mediocrity it's like those saltine crackers i wish i was hot buttery popcorn but today i'm overjoyed to be a saltine some people play checkers some people play chess some say that they're capable of 3d chess and i just got done with qualifying and i am definitely a checkers player um, was building a gap between lap two after the the second practice this morning i was really confident in my tires and uh, so built the gap and was hoping for a good qualifying run it's not often that i'm confident and i was and went into that first turn and uh round she came and <laughs> everything had gone into that third lap for qualifying so i'm starting 11 out of 12 i'm not sure what happened to number 12 but it had to be pretty bad so anyway not not much uh not much place to go but up we'll see if we can't do it okay it's time for the first stall racing race of the day dad qualified 11th out of 12 after spinning during his final lap so here he is at the back right where we like him right where he can make his comeback Confirm it is cold. Dad, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling good, Maddie. Good. Is it warm in that suit? Can you no, feel your I'm fingers? As, I'm as cold as I've, I've been all weekend. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just thinking, Super I'm starting right now. Uh huh. But for the Nationals, I feel really good about starting. Yes. Now. True. How are you feeling starting 11 out of 12? I'm a little less impressed. <laughs> that just means there's so much room to make up. <laughs> yep. There's he is! <laughs> He's such a good dog. Are you a track dog now? Are you a track dog now? Say good luck, Grandpa. Yes, you're such a good girl. Oh, yeah. Here we are, we're warming up for KRA number two and it was almost an exact duplicate of KRA number one. Very cold, maybe even colder. Um, one of the things that we had done is we went back to a more normal stand, uh, setup and the cart was better uh, than it was the first week. Not nearly as twitchy. Uh, and I felt like even though my qualifying effort, I had had some bad luck in there. Um, I just pushed it too hard, went off track on my hot lap of number three. Uh, but anyway, here, I, I lagged back on purpose because I kind of felt like this was coming. It was so cold, um, and when you're starting in back like I was, it really didn't matter. So I, I gave it a lot of room for that reason and was able to pick up two or three spots there on the start um, because of that little scrum you saw, and that was just definitely due to cold tires. Uh, getting in here behind Pat, uh, cart felt good able to get it by a cart there um, and uh, thought maybe I was on my way here uh, felt it was good to feel racy again you know in Carolina I'd been off the pace and in uh, carry number one I had nothing for nobody um, it was just a disaster and now I'm finally feeling racy get a good run on Pat here and looking up at Brian and uh, you know life is good again uh, for a little bit um, competitive here and this is a, really what I saw most of the race Brian was 
right. Uh, Brian was running in sixth, and uh, uh, he had, I think he had fifth place covered. I think he actually ended up getting him. But we were all pulling in on the fourth place cart up there and uh, thought maybe right there, I'd, I had, uh, had been exiting into our uh, horseshoe uh, off of turn five uh, pretty well and, and had thought about trying to make a move on Brian there a couple different times. You could see it best there. And right here I'm thinking I'm swinging wide, I'm gonna get it and then just boom, exit wide back in came around I must have tapped the brakes or something but uh, that was really all she wrote I went from being competitive to uh, John's gonna come up here and and complete the pass putting me in last and tried to get going and what we found out uh, after the fact I think that was lap 11 or so my my break uh, we had some sort of a fluid issue and it locked up and so I'm right now busy turning my uh, brake rotor to a nice purpley gold color. And uh, that's how it finished. Had nothing for nobody. Uh, couldn't gain on John. Couldn't, you know, actually should have pulled in there if I didn't know what was going on a little bit quicker. But finishing up the last lap here. Didn't end, what, didn't end the way I thought it was, but uh, cart was good. Thanks to Casey for setting me up, getting me back to normal. And... We were there running for sixth, and and we were right there. Your, your brakes dragging now. My what? Your brake dragging? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you don't have to. Have to pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for brake. What side there? Everyone's favorite member of stall racing finally showed up. Say hey, Finley. Can you say hey to the people watching this video. Hi. <laughs> hey, how do you think Dada will do? Good. Good? What place do you think he'll get? Huh? What place do you think he get? Um, he's going to start in fourth. Fourth. You think he's going to end in fourth? Uh-huh. Not number one? Yes. Number one. Number one. There was no coercing to get him to say that, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you jumping over the cracks? Because I can't break Mama's back. <laughs> You got any advice for me? You got any advice for the race? What should I do? Should I go fast or slow? Fast? Should, should he passes? should he race through the grass? The <laughs> Good track? job. Stay on the track. Okay. That was a trick so question. Go fast. Stay on the track. Should I pass people? All right. Those three things. And I think that's the recipe <laughs> to win, buddy. Give me, give me that. Uh, I love you, Bella. Okay, rolling off fourth here. And congrats to Caleb there on pole. Very challenging conditions. It was super cold. And so props to you on getting pole. My car, I have freed it up as much as possible just because of my size and stuff. And so it does not like the cold weather. So it was not a happy car here today. And right here, clean start until I make an unforced error and lose a number of spots. Luckily, I didn't throw it off the track because it was very close. And so here, my task is to make up the ground I just lost, uh, pass one card again, and gonna try to reel in 82 there, who's Blaine. And the problem was my tires would not fire off. Like they did not come all the way in until lap four. That's a long time to, to kind of be tiptoeing in, in some places and it, I paid a price for it. Now here you're gonna see Blaine, he bobbles. And luckily I thought twice about making that move right there. I peeked and I'm very glad I did not because it probably wouldn't have worked out. I waited a couple turns here, was able to make the move and uh, Blaine just tucks in behind me and he was just instrumental in us catching Matthew right here. I mean, Blaine just worked with me, and I'm very sure I was holding him up in a number of places, but he just pushed me, and uh, we ended up catching Matthew here, who's in fourth. And so my thought is, we still have a number of laps here. Let me just push Matthew up to, maybe we catch third place. 
because the third place was alone, had fallen off the lead pack. So that was my thought until he has a little slide out there on exit, and so he lost his momentum. I had a great push from Blaine, so we went on by. And then we just stayed like that for the next few laps. This is the last lap, and I'm going to have a, a bit of a driver error here. Just don't take the corner as well as I should. And they are able to close in and get a run. <clears throat> it's one of those things where I knew, I just knew, when I made that mistake, I was going to have somebody pass me. So Matthew makes a move there, and I was able to do a little over-under, courtesy of another push from Blaine. And again, Blaine, push just saved me in this race. And so here I've got the inside line on Matthew, and I'm like, okay, great. Yeah, Blaine's going to definitely give me another push. Wait, what's this? No, Blaine's making it three wide. And I run out of gear, and here is a three wide finish, just cranking the wheel, trying to get some more speed out of it there. So in that three wide finish, Blaine got fourth, Matthew got fifth, and I ended up sixth. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Congrats to Blaine. I think that was his best finish yet, and he definitely earned that. Hey guys, just me and you, like the good old days. Uh, I'll be racing sometime, hopefully whenever I'm not wearing a freaking winter coat and I'm not on, and I'm not, yeah, and I'm not on new tires sliding out of control. Uh, great race by, by Casey in, in, in his sportsman class, uh, sixth place. I really think he, I, I think he drove a great race. And then, um, you know, dad trying to make a move, getting sideways there, that's how I want it to happen. I don't, you know, I wouldn't change a thing about it because he was making a move and then afterwards I guess from what we found it sounds like his brake was dragging the last few laps um, so he wasn't able to really do too much the last few but good racing today very cold great turnout despite that uh, hopefully as it gets warmer it gets even uh, even more people out here uh, myself included maybe but until next time guys uh, like share and subscribe like share and subscribe we hit how many views on this video? We hit 100,000 views on this video. I'll race. <laughs> Unless it's cold. Unless it's cold. Unless it's cold again. In which case, 200,000. Uh, no. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you next time.